What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released the first beta of iOS 14.7 to register developers and soon to public beta testers. And this comes just two days after the release of iOS 14.6 RC. So pretty surprising release here this early, but in addition to this, we also got iPadOS 14.7 beta 1, watchOS 7.6 beta 1, macOS Big Sur 11.5 beta 1, and tvOS 14.7 beta 1. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS 14.7 beta 1 and what has changed since iOS 14.6, even though it's not fully out to the public yet. So let's start off with the size of this update. And you can see here coming from the RC build of iOS 14.6, it came in at 4.69 gigabytes. So a very big download here for iOS 14.7 on my iPhone 12. That size, of course, will vary depending on your device and the version you're coming from. But anytime you come from a final or an RC build to a beta and vice versa, the update size is always going to be very large. Let's go ahead and check out the build number for this update. So let's go into our settings general about 14.7. You can see the build there is 18G5023C. So we do have a C at the end of the build number, which does indicate we probably won't have too many betas of this version, but of course, who knows? It's Apple. They've been very unpredictable this year. And if we go down a little bit to the modem firmware, you can see there it's 1.70.03 which is actually lower than what it was, I believe, on iOS 14.6, the RC bill. So let me go ahead and check that real quick. So yes, it was 1.71.01 on 14.6. We went backwards a little bit here on the modem firmware, and that could even tell us that 14.7 beta 1 was prepared and ready before iOS 14.6 RC, which is pretty crazy. But anyways, let's talk about what's new here in iOS 14.7 beta one and honestly i've not been able to find anything new in this update so i went through every single setting went through everything on the os and compared it to 14.6 and was not able to find one thing that has changed now what's weird is that the release notes that apple releases you know alongside these software updates didn't include anything new at all which is rare Usually Apple includes something in these notes, even if it's something that's not necessarily new or if it's something in the code that most of us won't even understand, they usually include something, but there is nothing there. So my guess is that iOS and iPadOS 14.7 are just mainly bug fix updates, which is expected. I mean, this is a 0.7 update. We are getting very close to iOS 15, you know, coming out, iOS 15 betas coming out. So Apple is really just trying to fix up iOS 14 before we move on to the iOS 15 betas. So I'm guessing this is just a bug fix update. It's still too early to tell exactly what bugs have been fixed in this update. But of course, I will let you guys know more details, of course, as I've used this software for a little bit in my follow up video on Saturday. Now, I know a lot of people ask me if the new spatial audio and lossless audio features were added here in iOS 14.7 beta one, but I can confirm that they have not been added, at least not in this first beta. You can see here when you go to a page, a music page right here, just still shows the Apple Digital Master. I also plugged in my AirPods Max and checked around to see if I found any new features or options or any kind of toggles or anything, and nothing was changed here in 14.7. So I would expect the lossless audio and the spatial audio features to either be added server side to the Apple Music application in June or just a later release of iOS 14. Now, 14.6 is required. So that tells me that, you know, 14.7 is probably not going to be out by the time Apple pushes out spatial audio and lossless audio. But again, I would expect those to be pushed out server side from Apple into the Apple Music application. Now, one thing that's new on the iPad and iPad OS is a new Apple Store application. So this is, of course, not exclusive to iOS 14.7 beta 1, but this did just recently get pushed out. And you can see here, we have a whole new interface here for the Apple Store application. And we get this splash screen right here as well that says new sidebar design for iPad. Get all the essentials. It says now you can seamlessly add a keyboard or Apple Pencil when shopping for your iPad and also new virtual sessions. And if we go to continue, you can see this is the new layout for the Apple Store application on the iPad, which is much better than it was on previous versions. You could also hide it by tapping on that as well. So really seamless and it definitely looks more like macOS and kind of lines up more with the sidebar 
you know, that's added to like the notes application, email, all that on the iPad already. So really nice update there to the Apple Store application just pushed out today by Apple. And as far as bugs and bug fixes go, I am keeping tabs on the music queue bug. So when you go into music and go to the queue, sometimes that first song is not able to be moved. Those three dots there are just not visible. You may have to press it again to see those three dots appear. So I am monitoring that to see if it's fully fixed here in 14.7 because 14.6 did not fully fix that. I'm also continuously testing out the AirPlay to HomePod feature right here because that was very laggy in iOS 14.5 and 14.5.1. 14.6 did improve it a little bit, but there is still room for improvement there when you AirPlay to a HomePod. The whole interface is just very laggy and just very buggy and everything takes a long time to load. So hopefully 14.7 We'll fix that so far. It feels about the same as 14.6, but I will keep monitoring that and let you guys know in my follow-up video if it has gotten any better. And as far as green tent goes, green tent still appears to be there for some people in iOS 14.6. So I cannot tell you if it's been fixed or not in 14.7, just simply because I do not have a device that was affected by the green tent bug. So if you do have, or if you did have green tent on 14.6, Go ahead and update to 14.7 beta one and see if it is fixed for you and let me know down in a comment below now as far as the performance goes performance feels very good it's solid and it's really just as good as the final build of ios 14.6 which is definitely a good sign for a first beta here it did even score higher than 14.6 rc and the benchmarks so if i go into geekbench here you can see the scores i got right there i got a 1594 on the single core, which was higher than the RC build of iOS 14.6, which got a 1592. Now the multi-core is 4025, which is slightly lower than the multi-core of iOS 14.6, but some pretty respectable scores there for a first beta of iOS 14.7 here. So if you did have any problems with performance in the past, those could get a little bit better here in 14.7, although 14.6 did you know, solve a lot of performance-based issues, especially for older devices who had the performance issues upon startup, which Apple fixed in 14.6. Now, as far as battery life goes, of course, it's way too early to tell with battery life if it's better or worse than iOS 14.6, but I had no issues with battery at all on 14.6 throughout the entire beta stages and definitely not in the RC build. So I would expect 14.7 to be no different and still get pretty good battery life especially on the iPad, at least for me, my iPad Pro got really good battery life on 14.6 RC. So now what's next for Apple? So it's hard to say if we're on a one week or a two week cycle here for 14.7, the betas, I would expect one week just because we are, you know, super deep into iOS 14, but who knows at this point. And as far as the public release of iOS 14.6, that should be released to the public as soon as this week. I mean, it could even come on Thursday or Friday. However, since Apple did push out a beta of 14.7 before the public release, which is the opposite of what they normally do, Apple usually releases a new beta after the public release, like a day or two after, that kind of tells me that next week at the earliest is when we'll see iOS 14.6 released to the public because Apple does not normally do this. Like I said, it's usually the opposite. The public comes first and then the beta comes after. So that tells me probably nothing else is planned for this week and that next week is when we might see iOS 14.6. Hopefully that's when. I don't think it's going to get pushed until June, but that is always a slight possibility being on the first week of June. But who knows? Apple's so unpredictable. It's really hard to predict what Apple's going to do, especially with iOS 15 coming up right there on June 7th. That is the start of the Worldwide Developers Conference and when we will see iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 beta one, which I will be covering in depth here on the channel as you guys are already expecting. So there you have it guys, that is iOS 14.7 beta one, really much ado about nothing, not too much to talk about here, but of course I do like to bring you guys these updates no matter how big or how small they are, just to keep you guys in the know and keep you informed. So if you appreciate that, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up, and of course make sure you guys subscribe for a lot more content coming very soon. Also check out my TikTok, I did just recently start a TikTok posting over there, so check me out over there, that is linked down in the description below. But anyways guys, Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.